guys, happy Wednesday. So today I wanted to do a video on five top tips to make your life easier being a stay-at-home mom. So I've been a stay-at-home mom now for a couple of years, well I guess three years in total if I count my first maternity leave and these are just some things that I find when I do follow them. I just find my days go by so much smoother. So I wanted to share them with you. So number one would be exercise. So, you know, I know especially for new moms, this can be like super hard to find time to squeeze into your day to exercise. But honestly, even if you can do five or 10 minutes, it's better than nothing. So, and it all adds up. So even if you can just do jumping jacks in your living room, whatever it may be, go for a walk, with your baby in the stroller, um, whatever it may be, just any form of exercise. I like to go to my local gym where they have childcare there and it's kind of, I view it as, you know, my mental break and then, yeah, it's good for my kids because they get to meet friends and play with them and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I just find with exercise, it releases those really good endorphins and then if you can do it first thing in the morning, it kind of transpires to the rest of your day and it really makes your day easier, I would say. Um, and number two that kind of goes with that is eat, eat healthy. Um, being at home, it definitely, I find it harder to eat healthy at home, believe it or not, because, you know, the pantry's right there with um, the crappy food. So first off, I try not to buy the crappy food. Um, yeah, and if you can just kind of, sometimes a food journal will help or, you know, if you just try to eat before you're like really really hungry which sometimes can be hard but you know wake up or sorry whip up a quick shake those kind of things just to get that good food in you I just find when you eat healthier that you're just happier in general so uh, number three I would say that sometimes I still struggle with is to have some sort of schedule or routine um, I really find it helps your day so be so much smoother if you have some sort of structure to it. So if you just kind of line out, you know, the main things you want to get done that day, it's so much easier to get them done for some reason. Like the day can just slip away from you if you don't really have any planning or organization done. So I just find if you can have some sort of routine structure and just stick with it, you know, as much as possible, it really does help. Um, number four, I would say set up some sort of cleaning routine that works for you. I did not do this for the longest time and I honestly, I felt so overwhelmed by housework, like especially being a new mom and everything else. And I was like, I don't know how people do this. I can't keep my house clean and watch a kid and, you know, get the groceries and do this and that. Like I just felt like I could never stay on top of things. And it wasn't until I kind of set up my own cleaning routine and I just kind of split up the tasks. So I do one big task almost every day. I usually try and take the weekends off if I can, but that's what I found works for me. You know, you have like your little to do's, obviously your daily cleaning routines. And then on top of that, if you can just get one big thing done, um, it usually doesn't take a whole lot of time. And then you're not like trying to get it all done in one day or something, but like that's pretty much how I used to operate and that was just crazy. So I found that a cleaning routine is definitely, definitely makes things so much easier. Um, I'll probably wind up actually doing a video on my cleaning routine. Um, and number five, I would say that's also really important is just to remember to take a break. So as often as you can, you know, um, go on a date with your husband, Go out with your girlfriends, go for coffee, whatever it may be, just, you know, get out for a walk by yourself. Whatever it may be, just try and take breaks as often as you possibly can. I know it's not always possible, however, um, I just find if you can take breaks, it gives you a chance to kind of revive. And I just, personally, I just find that, that I'm, I'm more patient with my kids. I'm able to take on the day a little bit easier that way if I feel like I am getting breaks. So. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful week and we'll chat with you soon. Bye.